What's up everybody? Today I'm here at Yorba Regional in Southern California to throw my lines in the water and see if I can get any fish. Thank you all for watching. Yorba Regional, once again, we got to this lake before those swans started running. I don't know quite when they start running, maybe around 10 o'clock, I have no idea, but it's pretty early. The park just opened, seven o'clock. Let's get out here, trying to get a bite going before those dang boats start running. Little bite, little dude. First one, take him just to get the skunk out of here. But I don't know, definitely looking for a lot bigger than that. That ain't gonna do it. There's a bunch of these dudes schooling up, they're going after small bait fish. I don't know what they are, maybe they're other bass. First little dude, rip it up. All right, I came to this little pocket over here. It's pretty close where we caught that first little dude. I mean, it's only like 20 feet away from the bank that we were at when we caught that little one. And I saw a giant right here, at least four pounds, big one swimming around right in these shallows. It's super shallow right here. I mean, it's only about a foot, foot and a half deep. I saw him out there at maybe two feet deep. He was big. So we're gonna throw around here for a little while, see if we get any bites. All right, we got something. I saw him right here. He's pretty big. And sorry about the hook set, but I don't know what was wrong with my camera. It just was not working. We're gonna have to let him run because he's large, big fish, big bass. All right, we gotta start gaining a little bit of ground on him because I don't know how much line I have. I got a little bit, but I don't know how much. I don't have a lot. I gotta make sure we don't get spooled. He's a good one. He's probably about four pounds. I saw him right here. I saw him hit it. I just passed it right by his face and he ended up taking off with it. I hooked set. He really didn't know he was hooked at first, but I think we got him. I gotta keep him pinned on these mosquito hooks too. I don't know. I think I still got him. I think he's still on here. He's kind of lethargic. He's not fighting like I think he should for the size that he is. So we'll see how close we have to get him to land him. I gotta find a good spot too. All right, he's over here. I feel like he's gonna take a run. We gotta make sure we tire him out and get him over here. He's basically in the shallows too. If I have to step in, I will. Again, he's sort of lethargic. I'm just uh, scared that he's gonna take a run right here. I think he might. Yeah, there he goes. All right, we're gonna let him too because this two pound line, I don't know how old it is and it might be compromised. I don't want him to jump either. Let's keep him low. There was some dudes over here. I think they had a net. I probably should have asked him for it. Come on, buddy. Come in here. Don't jump. Keep him low. I'm gonna have to step in. I don't think there's any other way to land him. But that's a decent sacrifice. I don't know. Let's bring him a little bit closer. I hope he doesn't jump. I don't want him to jump. He seems like he's pretty tired. He's been fighting him for a couple of minutes already. He's not fighting like he should for the size. Something might be wrong with him. All right, I'm gonna go for the land pretty soon. Got him. Yeah, that's right. There it is. Check that dude out. That, uh, that might be four, maybe five. We're gonna put him on the scale. I think I have a, oh wow, that was barely in there too. I can't believe that. Yeah, he's really lethargic. He's not fighting like he should for the size that he is. Sorry about the hook set. Didn't get the hook set. Certainly got the fish. That was nice. Let me see. Let me get a, a little pick over here. Send to the homie. Uh, probably four. Yeah, huh? All four pounds. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there it is. Tear it out to zero. 
hopefully you could see that it did hit five for a second i saw it but it won't stay there we'll say four nine i won't go overboard and say five it did hit five for a second but it could have been just because it's swinging really nice dude biggest fish i've caught here that's a beast sight fished him too he was right here in the shallows i waited for him to come back passed the crawler right by his head a few times and we ripped him up sorry about the hook set i was dealing with the camera the camera didn't want to go on but that's a nice fish pretty decent tail not a really big fight though for the size that he is just not a good fight he was really lethargic right here even when he hit he barely went for it he didn't know he was hooked and he took a little run but we were able to keep him pinned on two pound line not bad good fish let's get him back in thanks for the fight buddy awesome fish there she goes kind of off to the depth slowly rip it up well that was pretty good that's some decent fishing right there tell you what i totally saw him he was only about 10 feet out right here and about two feet of water and you could tell just that huge body big head it looked like he was struggling a little bit i don't know he opened his mouth up and he really didn't take off as soon as he saw me but a little bit after i started throwing near him he took off for about three minutes came right back to the same spot i passed the crawler right by him and the second time i mean i crossed it right by his face just passed it right by his nose he had no choice but to pick it up and he did he didn't scare away like i thought he was he picked up that crawler i hook set on him tried to have my camera on but i've been running into issues with this camera as i always do but especially today i've been hitting the record button it hasn't been working so i had to take the battery out and then reset the camera then turn it on by that time he was taking a run out maybe i don't know 50 60 feet really didn't fight like he was that big honestly thought he was maybe three pounds just by the fight but i did see him so i knew he was a little bit bigger than three we ended up getting him kept him pinned on two pound line it worked mosquito hook and all crawler nights you know the deal rip it up all right i switched sides i'm gonna be throwing near where the trees are casting shadow over the water that seemed to work last time i was here hopefully we'll get a couple more fish close this one out just the hook set that's good uh, i guess it's just the day to miss the hook sets it's one of those days I clicked the camera, but you know the deal with this GoPro, even though it's the new one, it just takes forever. It takes forever for it to do anything really, turn on or start recording. But we got this little dude to hit. He was chasing around some smaller fish and we flipped him. There we go. I might throw around here for a little bit longer. Maybe we'll get lucky and get his grandma going get his mom this little dude we're gonna get him out of here come on give it up right there in the side of the mouth little tiny flipper bass just like the first one but it's something i don't know how many more of these we're gonna get hopefully at least a couple more i'm hoping it's gonna be bigger too so we can close this video out get out of here to another lake all right, buddy. Thanks for the fight, man. Rip it up. All right, let's hit B point right here. Definitely done good in the past. Catfish, other fish. Little bite. Did we get him? I think he swam away with it. I think we might've got him. Just a little dude. Probably the same as all the other ones. He was swimming with it. Pulled the trigger the opposite way. We got him. Little bass dude. Nothing crazy. Maybe he's a little bit, oh, he came off. Broke me off. He got wrapped up right here. There's all kinds of branches. He wrapped up on this one. Broke off the two pound line. There he went no rip it up pretty good day here all in all i mean 
if you catch one big fish a day that's a great day honestly almost five pound fish that is really nice biggest fish i've caught all month biggest fish in a couple of months it's been a pretty slow summer so to get one on the board like that is just a real treat big shout out to nate and all the homies that i fished with today it's always nice to fish with somebody usually i'm going solo so it's nice to have a couple of friends to throw some lines in the water and if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more from your regional and all over Southern California. Subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.